Hello everybody on YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to download and burn an Xbox 360 game. Things you will need. 360 with uh, flashed firmware. You will also need... One second. Uh, a blank verbatim disc or any kind of dual layer brand doesn't really matter 8.5 gigabytes you will need a computer obviously um, okay that's about it really except for programs I'll list those on the right of the video okay first what you want to do you're going to want to open up Internet Explorer hold on one second let me fix this camera okay you're going to want to go to uh, xbox360iso.com once you're there just uh, you're going to have to register and uh, they got all their games on here it's free to register and uh, everything okay what you want to what you're going to want to do is, is uh, scroll down here to the where it says DVD game downloads for Xbox 360 click on that you're going to get a bunch of uh, links and uh in my opinion the best site to get games from like the sites that host them is mega shares because they give you one file and they don't split it up into like 30 parts which is stupid in my opinion but uh the downside to mega shares is is is, it, is that it costs like $25 for 6 months which is pretty good actually and you download it at your full speed and whatever okay so whenever you get ready to uh download a game just uh, click on one of these links and uh, for example I guess I'll use hold on let me find a mega shares link okay well alright alright just hypothetically I'm just gonna use this as an example I'm gonna use Warriors or Rochi or however you pronounce that you would uh, copy and paste the link right here your mega shares link And you'll go in Mega Shares, and uh, like I said before, Mega Shares it it costs twenty five dollars for six months, but you download it your full speed, and and it, you know it's a pretty good deal. Whereas on Rapid Share and Mega Upload, it's kind of well, I don't really care for it. Some people like it, but I don't because it splits the files into like forty downloads, and you got to down then after you download all of them, you got to put them together in one part. So I don't like it. I just like downloading the file itself. Okay. Most files are going to come in an ISO format. Like .iso. Okay. And they're usually going to be about 7 gigs. Like 7 to 7.3, 7.4, somewhere around that area. Okay. So, uh, you know, click the download. And you save it to your desktop. And it'll start downloading. Well, I'm going to cancel this one because I don't want this game. Alright. Once the file finishes downloading... Uh, I'm gonna use this as an example. Uh, open up uh, ABGX. I'll put I'll put all the programs that you need on the right side of the video. Uh, load your ISO file and click launch. This checks to make sure your uh, game is stealth patched correctly. That way, you know, like the 360 uh, will recognize the game and boot it up because. The firmware that you need on the 360, it uh, it'll only boot games that are either retail games or games that are like one-to-one -one copies of retail games. So you're gonna want to click launch, and that'll check uh all the stuff about the uh the ISO that you downloaded. As long as basically like everything like the SS, the DMI, and the PFI files look good, and the and the video partitions good and everything, you're good to go. All right. Oh, and one more thing. Games that are just starting to come out are third wave games. This means that, like, older firmwares won't recognize third wave games. They'll only recognize, like, second wave or whatever. And uh, you'll need iExtreme 1.51. I'll put that on the right of the video also. Okay, so once that's done, you close that out, close that back out. Alright. 
Oh, you're gonna. This is what you're gonna use to uh, burn the game. I'm gonna open up Image Burn. That's a free program. It's like the best one they have. Go to Right Image File to Disk. It's on the top left corner. You're gonna. Oh, whenever, <laughs> whenever you open up AVGX and do that uh, that uh, stealth check thing, it's gonna make a .dvd file on your desktop. You always burn the .dvd file. Do not ever burn the .iso file. All right. So you're gonna want to go to select a file, open up your dot, your uh, .dvd file, and it's gonna recognize it. And uh, set your write speed to 2.4x. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in. One second. Eh. Okay. I guess that's all right. Yeah. Set it to 2.4x and just start burning after that's done just put it in your 360 and uh you're good to go that's pretty much it you can play these games on live no problem just uh you know make sure that they're uh stealth patched right and everything alrighty uh the next video I make I'm gonna explain how to flash your 360 and um yeah I'll get catch y'all later I guess alright bye